Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds bling. Hey girl friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elena and today we're going to be doing a battle. That's right, we're going to be battling it out with Camille Rose. Okay, if you have watched um, or if you've been following me for a little while, um, I recently did a video on what I plan to use up in the fall and winter months and a couple of those products are almost empty for me and those are some Camille Rose products. The Curl Aid uh, Moisture Butter, as well as the Almond Jai Twisting Butter. Okay, so these are pretty much down to the bottom. I'm hoping that this will be one of the last styles I get to, or one of the last twist outs I'll get to do using both of these, and then I can put them in my empties bag so we can just continue to make space in the stash. Y'all, I'm really trying really hard to get rid of some products before my new products come in and so that I can use some other new products that are in the stash as well. So I don't wanna be opening up too many things at one time or having too many things open at one time. So we're on project um, use your stash. So let me show y'all how much I have of each and this still might not be the last, but this is the Curl Aid. Okay. And then the almond jar, I think there's a little bit more almond jar than there is curl aid. So I'm pretty sure I'm not going to finish this on this um, particular battle, but we're going to use it. Okay, we're going to use up as much as we can and see how this goes. Because like I said, I'm ready to get rid of these. Got some new Camille Rose products coming really soon. Um, hopefully y'all will see what I bought during Black Friday. Um, hopefully before this video goes up. I'm not sure when it'll be up, if it'll be up before or after, but y'all wanna see some new, new Camille Rose products, okay? All right, so I'm going to use the Curl Love Moisture Milk as my leave-in today. This works very well for me with both of these products, keeps the moisture. So um, the plan is basically to see how which product um, the moisture holds up with the longest in my hair okay as y'all know I have high porosity hair and I struggle to retain moisture y'all if you've been following me for any period of time you know that I struggle to keep the moisture in with my high porosity hair and also with it being color treated I really really struggle with the moisture so I'm gonna see which one is gonna hold up the longest okay I did a battle on this some years ago um, but I never like I didn't do a half and half battle I did my hair one day with the curl aid and then I did my hair another day with the almond jive so it wasn't a really good comparison so I'm hoping that this one this video will be a bit a little bit better in showing you um, how the moisture lasts as well as definition Okay y'all, so I'm all set. Leave-in is in. I am ready to go. So, round one. <laughs> we're gonna have Curl Laid on the purple side and we're gonna have Almond Jai on the pink side, okay? So, Curl Aid is my left and um, Almond Jai is my right. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get it started now that I'm sectioned off. And this is just gonna be a twist out, y'all. I'm gonna have to do it a little bit different than my normal, the way that I style. Y'all know I have a certain way that I do my twist out template, but I'm gonna have to do it different since we're doing a battle. And I love the Curl Aid, I mean not the Curl Aid, the, um, the Curl Love. It's so moisturizing. It's a great, great leave-in for me. Like, it really works well up under either one of these products. This is how much of the Curl Aid I'm gonna use on this section. It's very creamy, very nice. Smells like vanilla. Y'all know Camille Rose. Always smells like desserts, cookies or something. 
Oh yes, and I need some oil. Actually, I may not need an oil with this. And this is a butter. It doesn't really feel like it needs it. I'll add it later if I do need it, but this stuff is so moisturizing. I tend to not need it. And I don't want to OD. So I'm just gonna use the butter for now. First side is done, the curling side, and y'all, I didn't use as much as I thought I would use. I still have quite a bit left there for my hair anyway. I feel like that might be like two more uses, but we're going to make it work. We're going to make it happen. This is going to definitely get used up um, before the season is over. It will be in my empties video, <laughs> my next empties video. Um, okay, so let's move on over to the almond jai side. Um, yeah. Wasn't that many twists that I did, as you can see. I'm trying to do this quickly. Smells my best friend. Yeah, she's my bestie. My love for you is endless. Nobody else can end it. And when I get the money back, then baby girl, you can spend it. Oh. And everything is alright. I like how you're doing alright, alright. Like how you think alright. Always on top of yeah, oh yeah. Like how you do it alright. Everything good alright, alright. Like how you think alright. Always on top of right. So we're done on both sides. Almond dye is applied. Y'all, <laughs> just see the bottom is where I just made that mark there. But that's okay, that's okay. We're going to get through these products before the season is out. Mark my word. Um, but I want really quick, um, I just want to tell y'all that the curly side, as I was putting the curly on, I felt like that was just a little bit more buttery than the almond jai side, um, which made me feel like I did not have to apply any oil at all to this side, even though I didn't apply it to this side either. Um, this is still buttery, but I just feel like this was just a tad more buttery and softening than the almond jai. Um, and that's just me and my hair. Um, let me see if there's any kind of difference other than what this says. Um, the curl weight moisture butter has green tea and jojoba oil, or jojoba. And then the twisting almond jai has the sweet almond milk and honey. Um, both of them are good for all curl types and transitioners. The curl aid says loves all curl types and transitioners, and the almond jelly says loves curls, coils, and transitioners. So, other than that, I didn't really see a difference on here. Um, it says our wonderful curl aid moisture butter, butter will bathe your tresses in aromatic, nourishing, and tantalizing blend of coconut, jojoba, and olive oils. Curly provides maximum moisture and curl definition. Almond Jai Twisting Butter is a must-have butter that will leave your twist soft, strengthen, elongated, and holds your style. So I guess there's a difference there. This one is more of a strengthening, um, has more strengthening aspect and elongating, while the Curl Aid provides maximum moisture. So there are the differences there. Um, we'll see how my hair holds up this week 
I will pop back in a couple of times just to let y'all know um, what's going on, you know, which one is drying out quicker than the other. Did I have to go ahead and apply oil or not? Um, I have the, well, I'm not going to use this as my sealing oil because if I do have to go in with an oil, that means I'll have to seal. So I'll have to grab one of my sealing oils. I'm not sure which one I'll be grabbing, but I will be using the cocoa nibs and honey oil on my scalp because I've been using it um, and this is almost used up actually. Um, but yeah, I want to continue to use this as well, just not for sealing the hair. And this is not a sealing oil anyway. This is uh, more of a, a, um, a treatment type of oil, you know, to penetrate the hair. So I wouldn't use this as a sealing anyway. Yep. So there we have it. I will see y'all in, I'll probably see y'all tomorrow when I take this down. Just to show y'all what the definition looks like, how it's feeling, how it dried. I'll let y'all know, you know, sometimes I'll have to put oil on before it's actually dry if I feel my hair drying out. So I'll let you guys know if I had to do that or if I didn't and we'll see how it looks tomorrow. I'll see you guys then. So I'm back y'all and these are the results. Believe it or not, this is actually day, I wanna say day three, Sunday, Monday, today's Tuesday. And I just took the twist down. Now normally I know I say that I'm gonna take them out the next day so I can show you guys, but my hair was just super moisturized, like even in the twist, super moisturized, still kind of juicy, okay? Like I'm feeling this. I really, really love Camille Rose products. Like I feel like you just cannot go wrong with her products. I mean, I can't, like I never, she never fails me. She never fails me from the shampoo, to the deep conditioner, the leave-in, and the stylers of the original brand, the original line. It just does not fail me. I cannot wait to get my hands on that coconut line just to see what it's all about and see if I get the same kind of results because I'm telling y'all, the regular line does not <laughs> fail me. Like I get moisture for days and it's just so, so awesome. So this is, remember, the curlade side. Y'all can see how much definition I have sick. Okay. And this is just twist. This is not even a braid out. This is just a twist out. And then this is the almond jai side. Okay. Now to me, they really both kind of feel the same. Okay, if I had to really pick one side over the other, I'm probably gonna go with the curling side. Because I feel just a hint, just a hint more moisture on this side than I do the almond jai side. Um, yeah, even though the almond jai, jai side is supposed to give you elongation, supposed to give you um, strength and all that, like, I guess I feel strengthening on this side more so than this side. This def this side is definitely more moisturized though. I'm really, really feeling the Curlade. I think if I had to re-up on either one of these products, I think I'm gonna go for the Curlade and not for the almond jai. I know that's probably surprising for a lot of people. I know a lot of people really, really like the Almond Jai, and I do too, but I have to go with what my hair likes the best, not just with what I think my hair likes. My hair likes this curl aid, and so, yeah, I think I'm gonna repurchase that again when it comes time for me to repurchase from Camille Rose. It won't be this Black Friday, so don't look for it in my Black Friday haul. But um, the next time I'm ready to re-up on the original line, I'm definitely going to get some more curl aid. Um, yeah, but otherwise, we're going to see. Let me just show you on the back. Okay. And this is why, as you can see, it's like separated. That is why when I twist my hair, I twist it in that format that I told you guys about. Like the three in the middle, the two in the back, and then the couple on the side, depending on where my part is. The, the way that looks right now is the exact reason why I do my hair in that template because I cannot get that part out of my hair once I um, part my hair down the middle and then do braids or twists or whatever on either side. I have to have something going across the middle to hide that part. But for demonstration purposes for this video, I wanted to, you know, do 
um, a side by side for y'all so y'all can see. But yeah, you guys, look, there's hardly any frizz on either side as I was taking it down. Let me move it a little closer. There's a little bit of frizz, but not really that much. Okay. Yeah. So, this is, like I said, this is day, do we want to call this day two? Let's call this day two, actually, because, you know, I washed my hair late on Sunday, and then I went the whole day Monday twisted, and then the whole day Tuesday twisted, and I just took it out. It's about 9.30ish at night um, when I'm recording this video, so let's just call this day two, really, okay? But from Sunday to today, usually I would have to, like I would start feeling my hair drying out, and like I'm gonna need to re-moisturize maybe tomorrow, but I'm not feeling like that right now, at all, at all, okay? I um, I didn't follow up with an oil, remember I was saying I may have to follow up with an oil as it was drying, I didn't do that. This is just the straight curl, um, curl love, and then the curl aid on this side, and the um, almond jai on this side, no oil. I oiled my scalp, but not the length of my hair. So moisture is lasting with the products only and no oil. So it's a winner. It's definitely a winner in my book. But I will come back maybe in a day or two. Today's Tuesday. Maybe I'll come back Thursday and let you guys know how the moisture is holding up. All right. And we can see what it's looking like. All righty. Yeah. So I'll be back. It's unfortunate that I got to go to sleep now. Nowhere to go. Looking all cute and nowhere to go but to bed, but hubby will appreciate it, I'm sure. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I will be back on Thursday with um, the update. I'll see y'all then. So, it is Saturday, y'all. I didn't make it to Thursday. Like, I couldn't. Life's been life in, okay? Basically, life has been life in. <laughs> and I just wasn't able to record on um, Thursday and Friday like I wanted to. But today is Saturday evening, and I just wanted to come in and show y'all what my hair is looking like, y'all. I did have to zhuzh it up just a little bit. Um, but as far as moisture is concerned, the moisture is kind of holding up. And I'm going to say kind of holding up, okay? Because I did have to kind of semi-re-moisturize, but not with those products okay i just kind of put in like a leave-in in my hair just spray my hair with a little bit of leave-in and i actually use this leave-in right here it's the nefertiti secret all-in-one leave-in treatment and this is kind of a thick um more of a thicker leave-in i'll show y'all what it looks like in just a minute but um yeah y'all this is what the hair is looking like as you can see it has frizzed out for sure Okay, and this side is frizzed out, and this side is that is frizzy in the roots. Okay, it's definitely frizzy in the roots, but like I still feel the moisturization on my hands. Like all week, I was able to feel that even when it started drying out a little bit, I still felt moisture in my hair, and so. Like I said before, Camille Rose products, they just don't fail me, y'all. And it's just, for me, it's unheard of to not have to moisturize on the third day. Most products that I use, I have to re-moisturize on the third day. My hair starts to feel like really dry, you know, like the moisture has left. And um, it's just time to re-moisturize. So, but the definition stayed, y'all. As you can see, like I said, it's still it's a little frizzy, but there's still some definition there too. So I feel like this side is a little bit more frizzy. Okay. Let me just turn around to the back. Okay. But all in all, the moisture lasts, okay? Now, I wonder what this would be like if I use the honey leave-in. I kind of think that the honey leave-in might be just a little bit too heavy to use with those butters. It's just my opinion. That's what I think. Um, I think the curl love for me and my high porosity hair is right on the money. Like that's right, that's where I need to stay as far as those products are concerned. Now I may try to revisit 
with the honey leaving just to see what happens. But I feel like, like I'm not going to have any definition if I use that because it's just going to be very, very thick. It's more like the honey leaving is more like a moisturizing product. So like if I just want to wash my hair, moisturize, put it in a bun or something like that or, you know, a slick back bun or something like that, it would be good for that. But as far as trying to do like a twist out or a braid out, I'm not too sure how that's going to work out with that and then using those butters. So even though my hair is extra thirsty, but we'll try it one day. We'll try it and we'll see. But yeah, you guys, all I did was spray and I actually sprayed this in my hand. I did not spray it directly onto my hair because I just kind of wanted to just give my hair just a little bit of a, you know, just a, just a bit of moisture boost. Because like I said, I felt some dry spots. Definitely these frizzy parts are, are dry, you know, but um, just to kind of get me through the day, <laughs> I would just spray this in my hand and I'm going to show y'all right now what this looks like. You see how kind of like thick that is? So this stuff is, is moisturizing as well, but I didn't have to use a lot of it to like kind of reactivate what was going on in my hair already from the Camille Rose. So... Camille Rose, the battle between the two stylers. Which one would I choose if I had to, if I had to choose, which one would I choose? I would definitely choose the Curlade, okay? Um, you can kind of see the difference here. The Almond Jai kind of gave out on me, you know, after I would say about four days, it gave out on me. And so this side to me looks a whole lot better than this side so and as far as the moisture is concerned i want to say for me and my hair it's really really almost the same y'all it's really about the same but i think i like the curl aid better i really do think i like the curl aid better so for me and my high porosity hair, we are gonna go with the curl aid as far as this battle is concerned. Almond Jai is a very, very close, close, you know, comes right behind the curl aid. So I think if you wanted, you know, if you wanted to try or if you only could buy one, I would say maybe it depends on your hair porosity. Are you low? Are you high porosity? If you're low, you may like the almond jai just a little bit better, and also with the strengthening property of the um, almond jai, I do feel that just slightly, ever so slightly, but it is still moisturizing. You definitely can feel the oil, the oils in this side, but this curl aid side just does it for me. It's just, it really does it for me. I really like it. So, yeah, guys, that is my <laughs> battle of the two stylers of the two Camille Rose stylers of the original line let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite or which one works better for you because i really for a long time thought the, the almond jai twisting butter was where it was at for me but now that i've actually done this battle again and just really kind of assessed my hair and just how my hair has responded to it it's definitely the curl aid for me definitely definitely so yeah you guys that is it i just kind of put it in like a spongy thing today and just kind of brushed it up did a little baby hair or whatever today nothing special but i wanted to kind of see how long i could preserve it tomorrow is wash day today's saturday like i said tomorrow's wash day so i will be washing this out and you know kind of getting rid of this frizz or whatever but it's all good Camille Rose is still a winner in my book. I still would purchase the Almond Jai Twisting Butter. I really, I, I would. But as far as which one I like better, as far as for the moisture in my hair, it is definitely the Curl Aid side for me. Definitely Curl Aid. So again, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Share your experience with all of us here on YouTube. Which one works better for you? And with all of that, you guys, um, thank you so much for watching my video. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And if you want to see me do another Camille Rose battle or a battle of any kind of brand, just let me know in the comment section down below. 
and I'll be more than happy to um, put that video together. In the meantime, I will see y'all in my next video. I love and appreciate you all so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time.